What's up everyone, this is Matthew Dale with some more Fractal Tips. Today we're going to dial in the Bluetooth J. This is an amplifier model that's based off the Bluetooth Tone amps, which are a type of dumbbell circuit. And supposedly the Bluetooth Tones were designed after Robin Ford's exact dumbbell model. Now if you like the settings that I'm going to show you here and you want some other great go-to settings for some amp models, Download my Fractal Favorites Amps and Cabs Guide. I've got my preferred settings for each amplifier and my preferred factory cabs that go along with each one. Hit the link in the description below and you'll be taken right to it. So I've got the Bluetooth Jai Clean called up here. Now the Dumble series of amplifiers seem to react a little bit differently to different cab IRs. So that's one reason these can be a little bit confusing to dial in. A pair of IRs that I really like are these G12H65 uh, IRs. And these are factory bank 2, 175, and 178. So I'm miking it with a 57 and a 121. I've got these IRs called up, hard panned on each side, and I'm running the filters at 80 hertz and 8,000 hertz. And just at stock settings, the clean amp model in here sounds a little bit like this. I'm on my bridge pickup. <laughs> And it's a little bit bassy, so let's go ahead and dial the bass back. I'm going to be pretty aggressive with this. Let's turn the bright switch on, let's push the mids, and maybe push the treble a little bit, and we have something that's much better. If I go through my pickups here, here's the neck pickup. Neck single coil. Two pickups together kind of a strat in between. So it sounds kind of like a big Fender. The Dumbles were based off of Fenders in the early days, so this is very Fender-like. I might dial a little bit of bass back in, and let's just hit the drive a little bit as well, and we get this. <laughs> Also got a little bit of the London plate reverb going as well. This amp is going to stay pretty clean on the clean model. So even though I've got the drive up past five on the bridge pickup, it's not going to break up much. It's going to give us a little bit of grit, but not much. This one really sounds good for those big single coil tones. Stuff like that. I love this amp on that. Over on channel B, let's go ahead and dial in the lead model. Now, this is where things get really interesting and really where the, sign the signature dumble sound comes from. So I'm going to start kind of on the same basic settings. Let's drop the bass back. Let's push the mids and the treble. And now we have drive and overdrive controls. I'm going to I'm going to slam the overdrive pretty good and we will adjust the drive to taste. I'm going to go back to the bridge pickup again. <laughs> And we have that really nice mid-forward overdrive. Let's back the overdrive up and back the input drive. Just see what this does. And now let's slam both of them up. There's some nice interplay in between these controls. Right now they're right at around seven apiece. And we have a lot of that nice mid forward drive. Sometimes these IRs can be just a little bit spiky in the high end, so I might dial back the presence and maybe drop the treble around somewhere below five. <laughs> Now the other amp model of this one is going to be the preamp boost. So if you were to pull, I think the mid knob on this amplifier, you get the preamp boost, which bypasses the tone stack. This kind of gives it more gain and really for me makes it easier to dial in. Let's just go back to roughly those same settings right around seven on the overdrive and the drive. And now our presence is going to be kind of our, our big tone control here. Here it is. Again, I'm on the bridge pickup. A 
ton of gain on tap and very mid forward, very focused gain. This uh, really does a lot to cut through a dense mix. It'll help your solos poke out quite a bit. Like I said, let's go ahead and just drop the presence back a little bit to make it a little bit darker. <laughs> And that sounds lovely. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have some other amps that you'd like me to dial in, let me know in the comments below. Remember, if you want some killer go-to settings on some great fractal amp models, download my Fractal Favorites Amps and Cabs guide in the description below. My name is Matthew Dale. I'll see you on the next one.